one of the uh, guys who's been here a lot of fans, you know, that, that part of it was new to you was some of the other guys that have been around for forever. Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> Campbell called us up and it, it got pretty emotional. It's just kind of a overwhelming feeling. Um, I mean, you guys know, the fans know. There's a lot of hard work that goes into this uh, day in and day out that a lot of people don't see. And uh, to kind of come up short for years and years and years in a row and then uh, to reach this, and this is just the beginning, but just to reach uh, division champs, uh, the, the word there's not really words that can describe it. And I think, uh, you know, I was looking at Taylor and we both just started crying. It's just like emotions overcoming you because uh, you don't realize how much it means to you until it happens, you know? No, he just kind of called us up and uh, appreciated us as guys who have been here for a while and kind of been through, been through it all. Kind of like how he does the game balls at the end. Yeah, if you will, yeah. Taylor said something about getting respect, but that you guys didn't have respect. What does it mean, maybe, to respect that this brings for everyone to let you guys accomplish this on the road against a good team? It's, you know, um, you know, you hear a lot of crap. You know, the, the teams come in the Ford Field, teams play us here, teams play us wherever, and uh, you don't really feel respected over those years when you've you got those three win seasons, those four win seasons, or whatever. And to be the the driver's seat in the division, and to to be the feared, if you will, uh, it's an incredible feeling. And I think it's just the start. And uh, I just appreciate all the people in that locker room, man. There's a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes that you guys don't see, a lot of ladies that you guys don't see, a lot of people that put in a lot of work, play through a lot of stuff. You guys heard about my knee. There's a lot of people that play through a lot of stuff and tough out stuff and work hard. Their families make sacrifices. And uh, just to be in this driver's seat, um, it's, in, it's an incredible feeling. Yeah. It's a long time for tonight's Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's foreign to me. It's incredible, though. Uh, just, uh, you know, you just reflect on a lot of things that you've had to go overcome in uh, your journey, and uh, you appreciate your story and uh, all the adversity. I mean, looking back, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's uh, my story, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And you just appreciate the fact that we made it, and uh, it's just the beginning. And in this game, in particular, that was very big Uh, I think it was all 11 guys buying into the communication. I think that's the biggest, biggest, uh, we still have some mishaps and a lot of things we can improve on, but that's a defense and, a, and an environment where with that defense combined can cause you a lot of headaches. They're changing things. They're all kinds of different looks, all that kinds of different personnel, blitz and drop in, and all 11 guys got to be in tune to me and Jared making our calls, making our adjustments, and the cadence and all that. So uh, I think the communication on offense uh, can definitely improve, but I think that helped us a lot. Frank, what's, what's different about this year's team? I think it's just been a culmination of the years. You know, Coach Campbell and Brad have brought in the right pieces, guys with chips on their shoulder. This whole team is just full, full of unselfish guys who want to help you out, whether it's coaches, staff, players, got all kinds of selfless guys that are, uh, just want to be great and will do whatever it takes to be great. And uh, it's just coming together. I think the dream is always to have these games happen. I don't know the schedule works the way it is. Yeah, I'm not too pissed about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was a diehard fan growing up, and uh, this is my first win here in Minnesota in general. So for it to be for the division, uh, it's really special. My family, my wife's family, everybody's here, so it's pretty cool. I think it's like uh, right around 20. He's got to go see him, so time for one more. You guys leaned on Gibbs hard offensively in the second half there. You know, he delivered 100 yards, so he turned around a couple times now. I think he's just getting his confidence too. Like he's feeling it out and he's understanding like I can do this, I can make these special plays, and I think it's just gonna keep getting better and better. Like he's a we knew from day one he's a dynamic football player and uh he's shown like he can break he can make the offensive line look good 
and he can make four yard plays go to 60 yard plays. So I think just as, as he plays more and more and develops that confidence, the sky's the limit for him. Um, man, it's been, you know, eight years and it's like, I honestly remember the times where we were like, I've said this before in the past where we were the joke and, you know, people didn't respect us. Um, and to be able to be here from kind of digging ourselves out of that hole, um, to a team that's being able to play, you know, meaningful games this late in the year, um, and can't say enough about it, and I can't say enough about my appreciation um, for my teammates and the, and the coaching staff, and just kind of their unwavering belief that we're going to get this thing right and get it done. Um, it's just special. We got a special group of guys. We got you know special staff, everybody in the building, and then you know just just for the city. I think back to last year, um, the Green Bay game, and just like the flood of messages I was getting from fans and how happy they were. Um, and just just to be able to continue to give them something to be proud of is, is special because, you know, football means a lot to people. It means a lot to the people in our city. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, a lot of pent-up emotion. Um, just to just to want to be respected as a team and, and, and to be looked at as a winner. Um, and yeah, I've, I've cried plenty. I've probably cried more today than I have probably in the last, I don't know, probably my whole career. It's probably most I cried. Um, just because it means a lot to me. Like, you, you just spend so much time putting into it and to be able to you know, have the, you know, the NFC North Championship in, in return for all the stuff that you've put into it. It's just, it's, it's special and it feels good. And it, and it makes you appreciate kind of the hard road to get there. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely going to enjoy this one today. Um, because we earned it. We did. So we should enjoy that. Um, and then, then as far as moving forward, then we're just going to keep working like the Lions do. Like, that's what we do. We're going to go out there every single week that we have an opportunity to play and try to put the best product out there possible. Because um, we just want to keep winning games. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know if I could uh, put that into words. Um, when you when you love the guys that you're playing with. Um, it means a lot more, and like we we just really just care about each other, and that's just not the offensive line. That's the offense. That's the team. That's the special team. Like it's everybody. Um, so it makes it special to be able to do something meaningful with guys that you really care about, um, and it's just a special group. Um, I mean, and these these are going to be the friendships. They're going to be the strongest that I'm ever going to have probably in my life, and uh, it's because we went through the hard stuff together, and. Uh, Came out on the other end better for it. What did she say to you guys? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I was sitting in my locker crying, so I didn't hear. I didn't hear anything that anybody said. Um, I was just kind of taking it in and trying to collect myself a little bit. So I, I didn't hear what I didn't hear what she said. One more guys. Thinking about this for a long time, I imagine. I mean, did, did the experience live up to the, the vision? You know, and um, like you guys know in this league, you know, games come down to four minutes or two minutes. So, you know, once we got that interception late in the game, I mean, that's when it hit me. Like, I wasn't going to get my mindset out of the game because, you know, what if we need a two minute drive to go down to kick a field goal to win? Um, 
but then once it was realized, yeah, it just it's just a flood of emotions that you didn't even know was there. Um, and just kind of kind of an overwhelming in a good way experience. Close out this game, the defense has to get it done. Just some thoughts as you saw this one end with the ball in Ippy's hands. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was a, they have some weapons, obviously, they have Jefferson and, um, you know, and try to take him out and then they could go to other other guys. So um, we were able to win our one-on-one matchups at the end. AG was calling a, you know, good plan at the end of the game. And, uh, you know, we were able to get the, a good call and, uh, you know, if he was able to make the play. What kind of relief is that feeling when you realize it's over and you guys are NFC oh. North champions? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, you start having flashbacks of the past, you know, really two times we played here, um, 21 and 22. So, um, you know, it's, we're, we're trying to change the narrative, and uh, we're able to do that within the division. The years you've been here, the three years, I mean, you've seen some tough times. What does it mean to kind of get to this point, the journey? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, this is what this is what our main goal was to win the division, and um, you know, it's awesome to see how far we come and how quickly it's happened. Uh, you know, not everyone thought it was going to be this quick, but uh, you know, it's awesome. That it is. You've been here long enough to get a sense of what this means to people in Detroit. What yeah, does that mean to you? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, we're able to provide them just with such joy and happiness and, um, you know, just pride in the city that, you know, hasn't been, you know, with this organization through the city, you know, for a long, long time. So, um, you know, we're changing the narrative of who we are and, um, you know, it's time to keep playing. Celebrate for a minute or two and then not done yet, right? Yeah, we got a big one next week. We got a lot of fans at home. Uh, you just alluded to it, celebrating their first division title right. in 30 years, maybe the first in their lifetime. Right. What's the message for them? Yeah, it's just, we, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of us, you know, we're, haven't been here, um, you know, for, for that long time. So, um, you know, for them, it's just, it's just we're we're just happy and proud that we were able to you know provide that provide that joy and happiness for them. It's just it's cool that you're able to you know energize a city you know that's a big city too. So you know it's just it's just really cool. I, I know you can't carry that weight of the last 30 years with you right. as, a, as a player, but is there do you feel the release of it maybe? Um, to a certain extent, yeah. I feel like um, you know there, in the past 10 years or so there have been some good Detroit Lions teams, and you know they were able they weren't able to get it done towards the end of the season and we're able to get it done today and um, capitalize on that so yeah there's a little sense of relief in that regard but now we're now we got to keep going and you know the job's not finished we have a lot more uh, a lot more goals than you know maybe other people have yeah and that's and that, that's really that's the biggest thing obviously you know we got the home playoff game got the division and now now we're fighting for seeding and you know we have a huge game next week away game that you know we have to go out and you know do we have to do to get the win since the we talked about creating takeaways how important that is to finish this game with a takeaway like yeah what does that mean for this yeah season? i mean how many did we have on the day like three or four yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, seems like a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, we, and I think one was off of a sudden change. Um, you know, turnover by offense. Yeah, BB was able to get a pick. I think that, that was a 10 series. So yeah, I mean, it's big. Obviously, you know, the picks are going to come, and uh, we're able to capitalize today. We just got to keep working at the four fumbles. Um, so just going forward, that's really the main focus. Is but uh, to get four turnovers, that's a good recipe to win. Put your finger on one thing. What makes this team special? Uh, I think we just embody what Dan Campbell really is. Um, you know, just how he operates, what he wants us to do. Um, you know, just that grit that everyone talks about. We just embody all that. Uh, top down, you know, our best players to, you know, our practice squad guys. So that's really what makes this group special and uh, different from a lot of other teams in the NFL. What does it seem like immediately after the game in the locker room when you guys got, got back to Yeah, it's fun. You know, there's tats, t-shirts, it's fun. It's, uh, I'm sure you guys are going to see a lot of the videos. So, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, guys in here deserve it. And um, it's never easy to win in the NFL. And, you know, we've been able to do that this year. So. Some of the veterans kind of speak up, like Taylor or some, some of those guys? Yeah, right. Yeah, obviously. They They've, they've been here since, uh, you know, Taylor been here, has been here since uh, Caldwell. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just awesome to see him and like Frank and Graham and, you know, Romeo and guys like that, that, that have been through a lot and, um, you know, just able to achieve this and, you know, come out on top for the first time. Hayden, you grew up in Michigan. You know everything this Lions franchise has been through. What's it like to stand here as the first division champs in 30 years? It's a blessing. It's a blessing, and, and you know, the plan is to, to keep this going and for, for many years to come. So 
Um, I'm very proud of this team. I'm very so happy with what we did. But um, job's not finished. As a wise man once said, I know you've only been here for a couple of years, but when you think about the turnaround that's occurred here in recent years, how do you describe it? It's 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 it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, but but we were uh, we were well due for this. Yeah. How do you keep it rolling? How do you recover emotionally from this high? Come back in six days and play the Cowboys. That's a that's a huge game. We're, we're gonna be ready to go for that one. I think we're gonna move on quick because I think we're happy we won the North, but um, playoffs. Or this playoff run is 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 more important to me. I feel like. What did you learn about your team coming into this type of environment? It's a totally crazy game. Find a way to make, win a huge game for you guys. Yeah, it was a great environment. The crowd was so loud. Um, dealt with some adversity today, but we overcame it. It's a nice way of saying that game was insane at the end. It was. It was. <laughs> I mean, the strip sack to the 30-yard game, you're like, what the heck? We're not about to lose this game. You know? So thanks thanks to Iffy for making, making a play. You grew up in Michigan. I mean, you've been you've seen this game forever. Can you put the words what this means? No, no, yeah, I can sit here and, you know, try to, but it's, it's hard, you know, because the Lions have been down bad for so long, so, but, but like I said, we're, we're going to, we're going to, uh, you know, carry on with this momentum for this year and, and the next following years. I'm excited. Um, I'm proud of the guys. Uh, I know the city's proud. Uh, we did it for them, man. The fans, they deserve it. They've been stuck with us the whole time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless. Today was one of those days where you guys just had to fight. You were ahead, you're behind. It's just back and forth. That's what this team's made of. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, early on, they stopped us. I mean, we, we first drive, we go score. They kind of stall out a little. Then that second half, or towards the end of the game, I mean, we try to finish it out, have penalties, push us back. Back. Defense went out there. I mean, when it mattered most, they got the stop. They got the, the turnover that we needed most. So, I mean, it's a team game at the end of the day. Offense, defense, special teams. So, we all, you know, played complimentary football and came out with the dub. This scene in this locker room, to be able to celebrate with these guys, what's it mean to you? It's everything. Uh, I mean, the work that we put in to start, I mean, it started in OTAs for us. OTAs, the camp, camp to, you know, preseason, then the season started. I mean, this was the goal from the start of the season. Uh, we wanted to win the division. Once we win the division, we can take care of you know stuff after that in the playoffs and whatnot. But winning the division was our goal. We did it. So um, we got two two more games to you know two important games for us coming up. But we're gonna celebrate today and then you know move on. Yeah, we're saying y'all didn't carry the weight of the last 30 years on y'all shoulders at all. You create your own history as well. Like how bad did y'all did y'all want to do that? Yeah, it was really important for us. Um, I mean, 30 years is a pretty long time when you think about it. Uh, I mean, for us, we knew it. It was on our fingertips. It was here. This is a chance. We couldn't let it slip. It happened quick, though. Like, week happened Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday happened. And then we're in the game. It, I mean, it's now. Let's do it. And then that last drive happened. We kind of stalled out. And, shoot, defense came up big. We got the win. So, like I said, we're, we're all excited. Another 100-yard receiver game for you, though, man. What does that mean for you to continue? That's your name in history, bro. Uh, shoot, it's nice. Uh, it's cool. Uh, to, to everyone around me, my coaches, my teammates, uh, everyone. I mean, they put me in positions to make plays. I go out there and try to make every play I can. But I mean, it's nice. But we got we got bigger bigger goals ahead. What does it mean that this defense had to be on the field to shut this thing down? What was your mindset? Uh, it means a lot. I, I love when it's the defense out there to close it out. It's just like put it in our hands, pretty much. That's that's the mentality. If you're a young guy, but 30 years, do you understand what that means to these fans back home, how long they've been waiting to get a division championship and get playoff football back in Detroit? I, I can't imagine it because I'm only 24, so that was before I was born. So I, can't, I know it means a lot to the city, so I'm just happy for us, happy for the city. What's it seem like to look around and see Coach Campbell be able to celebrate and the owners and everybody? Oh, I love it, I love it. It's just a lot of fun when we win and everyone's celebrating, coaches dancing and everything. It's always a good thing. Appreciate you. It's a deep middle and he looked open and I kind of just read the quarterback and jumped in front of it. But at that point in the game, you're going to go to your playmaker. So. You know. What was the scene in here like after with Sheila? Uh, uh, everyone was dancing and stuff. The music was playing. Everyone was jumping around. Water was being sprayed. It was just a fun time. So yeah, we're still there for it. Good.
because nice. we're coming up, a, you guys are coming up against a defense that we kind of talked about all week. That was yeah. a lot at you. Just how are you guys able to be so successful moving the ball today? Uh, I mean, just uh, going in our keys, you know, we practiced all week against that type of defense. So, I mean, we were prepared. They threw a lot of, uh, yeah, threw a lot of us. So, um, we just did a good job handling it. I apologize if you've been asked this before, but you guys go down 21-17, come back with uh, one heck of a response. Can you just take me through the emotions on the sideline after they go up and just what you guys are talking about? Right yeah, we, yeah, 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 we was fine. We knew it was going to be like this, like I said. So we just had to come back and respond. Division champion, what kind of ring does that have? Feels really good. There's a lot of hard work that was put in all season long leading up to this moment. So it, it's really satisfying for a lot of people. You look around and you see the veterans. Does it make you understand what they've been through and how much it means to them to finally get this done? You know, I, I can't understand their experience. I mean, I've only played, what is this, week 16, so 15 games down in the NFL. Guys like Deck that have played 100 plus games. Um, you know, they, they deserve it the most. And I'm just so happy for them. Coach Campbell brought those guys up. The guys have been here five, six, seven years. He brought them up to the front of the room and let them you know, celebrate it in front of everybody else. And like I said, they deserve it the most. What does that mean to you to see those veterans and, and see Coach be able to celebrate this as well? Just like I said, there was a lot of hard work put in. And for some of these guys, five, six, seven, eight, ten plus years, you know. So it's just all their hard work paying off. It, as a young player, it's really satisfying to see how much work they've put in. I, I get to look up to those guys. Another grinded out game. You guys are ahead, then you fall behind, then you have to answer with some big drives in the second half. Just some thoughts on how you guys were able to finish this thing. Yeah, it was unfortunate that we couldn't finish with the ball in our hands. Well, we did, but you know, we could have finished it in the, the four minute mode two times and the defense came up big. So shout out to Ify on the pick, his first career interception he told me. So hopefully he kept that ball. You get a lot of fans uh, back home in Detroit celebrating your first division title in 30 years. Yeah. A lot of people for the first time now. What does that mean to you to think about that? Yeah, the city of Detroit, they deserve it. Um, you know, they've rooted this song for the last 30 years, and we haven't been able to bring home this north, this, uh, this division championship, so it's awesome for them. How's it feel? Sorry, go ahead. How does it feel to be like, you're a rookie, 30 years we're talking about, your first try, you got one. Like, yeah, mean yeah, my perception of it just, it doesn't really, it doesn't really click, you know. I, I was born in 2001, so only been on this earth 22 years. So, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's been a long time and a lot of people are deserving of this and a lot of hard work's been put in. But I assume you guys aren't satisfied with just knowing this team. No, of course not. You know, we, you know, we locked in our spot in the playoffs, which is great. Um, certainly going to try to, you know, bump that up, the seedings and such, but hoping to make a long playoff run. What a fourth field playoff game of the play. Heck, they're rowdy every week, but I, I can't really imagine that playoff game, that first playoff game at Ford Field. I'm sure it'll be exhilarating for usual.